Your first question is, please describe the knowledge, training, and experience that has prepared you to serve as a fire chief. Thank you for that question. Uh, my experience, I have 26 years of serving my community as a career firefighter EMT. I have held the positions of firefighter, apparatus engineer, um, fire lieutenant in two different departments, division chief of fire training, and also uh, now the assistant chief of personnel. Uh, I feel like I've been a lifelong learner in the fire service early in my career in the Macomb Fire Department, which is where my career began. I had the opportunity to work uh, with a uh, fantastic um, uh, fire lieutenant by the name of Roger Lunt, who was uh, one of the first mentors I had in the uh, fire service. And he was so enthusiastic and passionate about, and he, about the fire service and his role in it. And he always encouraged us to get out right away and uh, seek out any edu educational opportunity that we could. Uh, back then, my initial training came from the Illinois Fire Service Institute, and I eventually became an instructor there because one of the things that I learned from him was, you know, if you have to turn around and teach it to someone else, then you'll be that much better. And uh, so I did that for a while with the Illinois Fire Service Institute, and it was a great experience. And I just, you know, took every opportunity to attend trainings and put myself in uh, positions to learn more. I am very... Uh, easy in any group of people. Um, so I enjoy going to conferences and uh, seminars and, and anything I can get my hands on. Um, most of my experience has come from just working in the job and learning from others around me. I've learned a great deal uh, since being a chief on the Madison Fire Department. I've had the opportunity to participate in a number of ways. Uh, as I said, with the chief of training, I've participated in training uh, the 300 and developing annual training uh, plans for the over 390 something members on our job. Um, and uh, I believe just uh, my work experience um, has prepared me for this role. Thank you. What is your vision for the Madison Fire Department? My vision for the Madison Fire Department is to uh, continue delivering just the highest quality service. I feel like that's been our, our that's what we've been doing ever since I've been here. Um, we are always the department that, that other departments look to for, for how we staff, how we acquire equipment, how we you know, uh, hands, handle uh, health and wellness for our folks. We are constantly getting um, requests from other departments uh, just asking how we got to the point that, that, that we are. And so it's kind of a little bit tough in the sense of, of, of figuring out how you wanna move the department forward because we have really um, been on the, the forefront, been in the forefront, been on the cutting edge uh, this entire time. Uh, but there's always things that, that we could do better. And one of my main uh, goals, if I am, chosen as your next fire chief is to get together with the leadership team and, and look at our strengths and weaknesses and where we can improve. I think it's important to, to build uh, that, that next five year and 10 year plan with the leadership team, because as, as we all know, there are two other, three other people um, from the Madison Fire Department in this process. And I'm sure that they have all, you know, uh, put their heart and soul into thinking of ways that they wanna move the fire department forward. Um, but for me, I think it starts with looking at where we are right now and then uh, deciding where we want to be in the future. Thank you. If you are selected as the next chief, what are your priorities for the first year and the future? My priorities for the first year would be to uh, build relationships. I have definitely been working, you know, with our current leadership team, and uh, but if I were selected to be the next fire chief, obviously I would be engaging them in a different way. Um, I don't know all aspects of what all of them do, just like they don't know all the aspects of what my current role is. Um, so we would be uh, sitting down and, and learning, you know, 
from each other and where we want to go. I think that um, I think it would be I am I have been very internally focused, you know, uh, in the department with training and also as the chief of personnel. And so I would absolutely have to get out. I've had some involvement with other uh, city leaders and uh, department and division heads, but I would definitely have to get out and start meeting folks out in the community and start meeting community stakeholders um, because I realize that that's a really important aspect of being the fire chief. Thank you so much. That concludes this portion of the interview process. Thank you for your time this morning and this afternoon. Thank you. You're welcome. Do I have a moment? Do yes. I have a moment to say a few things? I just wanted to again uh -oh. I said too early, but I just I just wanted to say okay. I just wanted to say again um, that this process has been a very positive experience, and I appreciate all that the Board of Police and Fire Commissioners and also City Human Resources uh, have done to make this a great process. And I'd also like to thank the Association of Madison Fire Supervisors, uh, Local 311, and also um, the public for their input on what they would like to see in the next fire chief. Thank you. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you.